everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are playing the RSM Classic today on the Simulator Golf Tour. A couple things I want to note here on the screen. Stimp is 11, only 5,800 yards. Fairway permanent and greener soft. So, uh, this course, um, I believe, is short and pretty narrow. So, um, like last week's course that I thought I would do well on, but I didn't. I'm going to give this one a shot. My hope is I don't have to hit driver too much today, although in my warm-ups, I was hitting it pretty well. So we might take a couple chances early on. See how everything goes. Uh, if you watched my videos before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I uh, like to play a lot of simulator golf. I typically post my simulator golf tournament rounds. This is the PGA Tour. Uh, I also post my clan battles, which is where you're put on a team and you essentially compete against other people. So I'll be playing that later this week and I'll post that video uh, as well. Um, all right. I don't see many trees here. But I also don't see the need to hit a bomb on the first hole. So we're going to see a hybrid. We're going into a pretty stiff wind. We'll still hit hybrid. Even if it comes up a little bit shorter than uh, the 230, I'm hoping it goes. It should be okay. All right, first hole. Again, my goal, uh, plus five is my handicap on this, so I want to finish better than that. That is my imaginary cut. and go. I felt good. Oh, look at this. Look at that. What a way to start. So what I, I say is imaginary cut. That doesn't necessarily mean if I miss it, I'm not going to play the second round. But typically, um, when I play the second round, if I've missed my imaginary cut, I tend to treat it more as a practice round than a serious round. Anything less than that, though. Um, fair game. I got a 50 degree here. I'm probably going to hit this pretty, pretty full. Yeah, soft. The green's soft. I think I can attack it a little bit more. So when I checked online, somebody was like minus, geez, 16, I think, on the gross leaderboard. So, I mean, they pretty much one putted everything, if I remember correctly. I forgot who it was, but whoever's at the top of the leaderboard had one heck of a round. But hey, we got ourselves a birdie putt in the first hole, 16 feet, a little bit downhill, so I don't have to hit it super hard. Let's roll this right in. Well. I hit that way too hard, didn't I? I hit that way, 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 way too hard. I hit that way too hard. And now we gotta go back uphill. Yeah, I don't need to hit it that hard. When I hit it, I thought that's gonna be good, but I, I'm pretty sure I hit that too hard. That's how I should have hit it the first time. All right, well, bogey in the first one. We learned, we made a mental mistake there. Good tee shot, good second shot. We just hit that first ball a little bit too hard. What do we got here? Par five, all right, well, here's an opportunity to get that stroke back. We got a lot of water though. Got a windy little river. Um, let's get out of bounds here. I'm gonna play it up the right side. Again, if I go right, I think I'm okay. If we go a little bit left. We're in danger, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I kind of cut that a little bit, a little bit too much. I got to get my old golf swing back somehow. In the rough, that's going to be behind a tree, though. Yep. Um, 
Oh, Carter, we just have to put it back in the fairway. Seventy. Eighty. Show a sixty degree. Get it over the. Sorry, fifty eight degree. Get it over those trees. Give me a shot into the green. Yep. That's all I, I wanted to do there. 137, let's go pitch and wedge. That's, that's a good pitch and wedge right there for me. A little bit uphill. Remember, these greens are soft, so we're not going to get a whole lot of rollouts. So we we got to hit it. we got to get it there. Get on the green. All right, well, good distance. 131. I'm going to putt this. So let me set my sensor to putting. Start right there. We got nine, so 27, 28 feet. Slightly downhill. How I hit that 16 foot putt in last was need how I need to hit this putt right here. Go, 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 go. Park. Just inside that gimme circle. But I mean that was a great hold of birdie. From where we were. But hey, we're not gonna get down this. That was over a Ooh, I think I'm gonna drive her again here. Get it up there, get it to that 110, 113 distance. All right, no big deal. This hole is pretty straightforward. We lost our drive to the right a little bit last time. I don't have to worry about water or anything. Even if I go right a little bit here, we're okay. But let's get one out there. That is, get one out there. That felt like my old swing. Yep, just a little bit of draw. Good ball speed, great ball speed. Let's go. 80 into this. I'm dropping 50. I'm at the 54 here and just choke up a little bit. Again, I don't want to get much roll on these greens. So if I choke down, I can knock this club. And maybe 10 yards and stick it right on the pin. Come on. That is like the worst time for that. All right. Well, re let's reset. That maybe would have been all right, but that definitely was on the green. I don't know why it thought it did that, but you know what? It happened to turn him in play, so... Every time that happens, it makes me want to go out and just buy a new sensor, even though I just got this. Oh, wow. Talk about a challenging putt here. I actually saw the, the Bushnell Launch Pro. I think it was on sale right now for like 3500 bucks. Problem is, is theoretically, even if I could sell the Mevo for fifteen hundred, that's still two grand. I would have to spend that I really don't want to. Fifty. Oh, we're gonna. This is a ride. This is a little bit of a ride. Go go go! Wow, that just came to a dead stop at the end. Downhill, 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 and just uphill. Touch to the left. Let's see. I think so. It's flat putt, so I'm just gonna hit this gently. Oh no! Is that a double? Yep. You know, 
that one mess up with the sensor to a shop that would have probably been much closer to the green than my second shop. Man. I can't get hung up on that though. Bitch, what you get in here? Until you just can't get hung up on that, right? I know with the sensor that can happen. It happened more frequently. I don't know if the weather has anything to do with it or not, but it is what it is. Let's get this right next to that pin. Get a birdie, get a stroke back. Or pull it way to the left. That one's just... I came across it too much. I needed to. I bet you if I look at the video, my arm kind of flailed out. 14 yards. I'm just going to do a little bump and run here. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. That would have been huge if I could save a birdie there. But no, no shame in a par. 366. Um, go hybrid, I think. Let me just take a measurement to where that bunker is. 186. Yeah. We'll go to the right side. That way, if it goes right, we're okay. And if we go a little left, we'll also be okay. We'll hit the hybrid here, so we hope we have a nice pitching wedge into that green. And I shot it left. The one thing I didn't want to do. Take it right. I did it again, man. Came across. Now I gotta... Now I gotta do this again. One bad shot leads to a tough neck shot. 167. All right, we got out there. 69 yards. Let's hope this is all set. I'm going to do a full 58 here. I think a full 58 should put me right next to this pin. From what I can see. Ooh. Oh. If I didn't push it a little bit to the right, we would have been in wonderful shape. Come on. Sit down. Thank you. Got a tricky putt, though. Uphill. Uphill a lot. It is like 22, 23 feet. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's it. All right, well. Four over at the five, not where we want to be. But we can get it back here, get some of it back here with a great drive <sighs> into a lot of wind. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I felt a little bit good. A little bit offline, but yeah, okay. We aim for the right side of the fairway, we end up on the left. It's a par five. We put ourselves in great position so far. No complaints about the driver. It's seven iron here. We're going to go a touch to the left. Good seven iron here make all the difference in this round. Right now, this is the biggest shot of the round so far. 
That felt good. Come on. Kick it left. Do the opposite. I didn't think I pushed it that far right. Um, but I'm not surprised by the side spin there. 12. Let's think about this for a second. We really want to get this close. If I don't have to putt here, I'm going to be a happy person. These aren't going to roll out much. Fifty four in hand. Oh, come on, be in, be in, be in. Oh, that's the second time I've chipped it. We got a birdie, though. We got the birdie. So we're okay. Gained a stroke back. Two sixty seven. Two sixty four. Let's cut this. Let's get my cut working for me. Oh, we're going to try and cut this. Actually, I might aim a little bit more left. No, because the wind's going to push her back to the right. So, we cut it. We didn't get enough of it, though. That's going to land in the fairway. And I knew it. I hit the ground, I think, a little bit. But if I'm going to miss, I'm okay with missing like that. We tend to push shots to the right, so I'm just going to leave it right there. I mean, that drive went 200 yards, so we could have done that with a 5 iron. But don't matter. Let's see if it's right next to the pin. too long. Just a touch. Not bad though. We have a a reasonable birdie putt. I think we put it right there. Now remember this is downhill. Sixteen feet, so we want this just to gently hit up against that white board. Like that. Come on. Ah, oh, broke just a tiny bit more. Still a par. Still a par. Let's get some shots back. 153. Wind is at our back. It is slightly downhill. I think we're going to hit 9-iron here. And I think we're going to aim more towards the center of that green. A little bit of wind. It's going to push it out and to the right. I think I can get the extra five yards I need from that. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, get in, get in. Oh, oh, that was a great shot. I was not mentally prepared if that went in. Still a great shot though. Wind at our back. We knocked another stroke off. We're coming back. I tend to, all right, I'm gonna knock on wood before I say this. I tend to dig myself into a hole and dig myself out of a hole and then put myself right back in it. So we're digging out. We're 336. I don't think I'm going to reach the green, but I'm going to give this one a ride. This looks like a pretty open hole. So we're going to try and get a nice high ball speed. Great ball speed there, right? Hit it pretty straight. Just a tiny bit right. We went at it. We went at it, right? 48 from the rough. Let's go. We're going to hit the... Uh, we need to get this high and get this drop. So 50, 48, so call that 50 with the bell end. We'll open the clay, so we'll choke up a little bit. 
think we're going to take a three quarter swing here. Come on, get close. We had the swing. We had the swing. Come on, we need the birdie here. Slightly uphill. Gonna break a touch to the right. And seven feet, so we just need to roll this nice and gently. Is that gonna be enough? It is. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. 376 downhill. Wind coming off to the right. We want to get it to go. We're going to land like right there. 240. Seven yards down. Yeah, we're going to go hybrid. We're going to hybrid. Again, if we go start to the right a little bit, into that rough, I'm okay. With that wind, if I hit it straight, it's going to push it nicely into the fairway, which is the goal here. And I've given myself enough one left. Only thing to do here is hit the straight. A little left. A little left. With that wind, it's going to go a lot left. <laughs> Just don't get behind that tree. Did you give me enough room? No. Oh, no. That's okay. The pin's on the left. We can put it on the right side of the green. Let's, let's see what happens if we aim on the right side of the green. Oh, I just a touch too much. I think I'm just going to put it back in the fairway here. 89. I think, we're gonna hit the, I think the play here is to lay up. I think if I try to go for the green... Wow, that is a lot of wind. If I can get this up. How far is it? 143. I didn't realize there was that much wind. Let's get the pitch and wedge. Let's try to... Uh, Try to uh, hook this. All right, make a right shot right here. Hey, we got a good amount of high side spin on that. I'm not mad at that shot. I, I had side spin the way I wanted it. The wind took it. And I didn't play too aggressive. So 23, we want to get it to like right there. So we gotta, we're gonna hit the bump and run, but we're gonna put a little bit more on this because we're coming out of the rough and we need it to roll out. Come on, come on, come on. Just a touch short of that gimme circle. Just the tiniest bit of break, so we're gonna like aim right there. Downhill six foot. Let's get a nice smooth straight roll. There it is. Par. All right. Probably should have checked to make sure the Wi Fi is still connected a while ago. I really. We're going to hit driver. We're going to face. <sighs> going to hit driver here. Let's see. All right. We've been hitting the driver well. I'm actually a touch more to the right. Again, I don't really care if it goes in the rough on the right hand side. I need distance here. Oh, that's left. I caught right off the heel. The question is, did I aim far enough right? So glad. So, so glad I aimed that far right. If I didn't aim that far right, basically aim at the rough, that would have been pretty deep in the left. Left. Uh, we're going to go four in here. Not too concerned about that bunker. We are going to go touch left, so we're going to touch right. Wind's in our face, we got to go full four iron. 
Here we go. Nice four iron. Get this right on the green. Come on, you got to go. Cut that off the toe of the club. Come on, roll. Keep rolling. Well, we do have an eagle putt. A 38-foot uphill eagle putt. Let's think. So we need to go like, I'm going to call this like a 45-yard putt. Oh, slow down. Slow. slow down. I mean, I got it to within six feet. That's still a pretty good putt. It's not breaking that much. We'll just give this a nice little touch. We still make bird? We made bird. There we go. We put ourselves into a hole and then we dug ourselves out. Now, this is where the fun begins. All right, we gotta keep it going. We gotta keep the good stuff going. Do a little clean up with the ball. How far we got, 339? I mean, I see no reason not to go for, no, that's too much wind in our face. I was actually thinking of going for the green, but not with a 10 mile an hour wind in our face. Especially the, oh, hold on, that's. I mean, that is a, we're doing it. I mean, with that wind, I'm not too afraid of going long. We got a good rip on this. We're gonna be there. So well, at least get in the fairway. I should have checked those trees <laughs> to make sure. Um So I, I just kind of looked at the mini-map and I didn't see trees, but just because it's not on the mini-map doesn't mean they're not there. The mini-map doesn't always show everything. I should have zoomed in. I got lucky there. Um, we got a 54 degree, and we want to hit this 32 yards. So we're going to swing like that. I knew, I had a feeling if I swung like that, I was going to come up short. And I should have saw that this was on a hill, and I needed to put a little bit more on it. Sometimes you just make some mental mistakes. I don't think I'm going to putt this. I think I'm going to hit the 54 again. I mean, I'm going to hit it like I did last time. It'll go way past it, which we don't want. But... That should be good. Hit it, hit it, hit it, sit. Ooh. I thought that was uh, good speed, but I was a touch. And I wasted a good drive. Well, I haven't wasted a good drive yet. Touch to the right. Right there. Downhill, so again, just a nice soft roller. Here we go. Par's okay. On that hole, I was really, with that drive, I should say, I should have been a much better chip. I knew if I swung like that, I had a chance of coming up short. I was afraid of blasting it by, but I shouldn't have been. 178 downhill. I'm gonna hit eight iron here. Wind at our back and downhill. This is a good nation for another like 10 yards. 10 yards with this club will be perfect. With the ball speed, 104. Yeah, it did not hit that right. 
not get all of it. Check the ball. I don't think the ball cracked. I just think I hit it off the toe. But worth checking. Of course, this is the same chip as last time. Right there. Pretty much when you want this to go 12, and then just kind of hop into that hole. Perfect on this, and it's just pulled it a little too far left. That's okay. Pars are okay. 341. Don't look like there's much out there, right? At 244. How far are these trees? 272. I don't think we're in dead center because it goes left. Plenty of room. I have the driver, and if it goes right, hopefully it means I mishit it, and I just have to go over those trees. But that's not the plan here. The plan is to hit a rocket and be on the left side of this fairway. Or we hit a rocket and go on the right side of this fairway. Kick left, stay in the fairway. All right, we're okay though. We can see the green. Whoa, that's uphill a lot. Um, so we're talking like, this pin's in the back, 77. So that's going to treat it like an 85-yard shot. So a pure, but a full 54. I needed a little more on it. Yep. Oh, I should have zoomed in on this green. I should have I should have went and actually checked out how much uphill it was. Because if it was that much, I could have actually hit hit a better shot, put a little more on it. Even this, I think, is, is not enough. My gut's telling me to go a little bit more, like right there. All right, 48, a lot uphill. Yeah, I hit this like a 50-something yard. Sorry, 50 by 56 foot putt. See how we do. We hit it so fast, the sensor didn't pick it up. Oh, come on. I hit that pretty good. Just, if I lose it on this hole. Uh, I'm going to be so upset. I can't, this can't, this can't be happening. This really can't be happening. I'm going to have to hit a 48 foot putt again. I'm going to have to hit like a 60 foot putt. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's put a little oomph into this. I mean, we whacked that that time. This is... How do I put myself in these situations? 19 feet. Don't you dare. Don't. That was touched. Touched. That should have went. There's no reason that should have fallen outside the gimme circle. And certainly shouldn't have done this. Did 
58 degree, I'm just gonna chip it up there. I'm conceding this hole. I don't see a solution here. You, you can't, you either have to hit a 48 foot putt uphill, um, or you gotta hit a 19 foot putt downhill which either has to land in the hole or it's going to go by it. This is my seventh shot. Even if this miraculously goes in the gimme circle, which it doesn't look like it's going to. Like... That one completely misread it, but hey, puts an end every time. Like something like that happens, I can't. We're gonna hit a rocket here, right now. The only thing in my mind is eagle this hole. Is that that's all I can do? Get two of those strokes back with an eagle here. Um, and then birdie, a couple birdies at the end. But let's start off with an eagle here. Let's go rocket, wind in her face, don't matter. Ooh, wow, that's not gonna stay in the fairway. That was a rocket too. I'm okay with those dimensions. We're gonna hit a, another rocket here with a four iron. We're gonna hit that 220 swing. That's gonna probably go 200 exactly. Again, I just hit it a little fat. Really wanted to get, get up. I'm um, 29 yards. Open up the face a little bit, put a little behind it. Oh, that's gonna way past. Or maybe not. <laughs> I honestly thought the way I caught that that was gonna go way past, but we have an opportunity for a birdie here. Only seven feet. I think we're fine there. All right, we got one of those shots back. Even with that wind, we're okay. We're taking a chance here. Listen, I uh, I need to get strokes back. I know plus five I said is my goal. New goal is even par. Let's play aggressive. Let's get that even par. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Why we play aggressive? Why we play aggressive? 154 uphill, but wind at my back. Eight iron. Come on, this is what we do. This is what we do. We dig ourselves into holes and then we get out of those holes. Let's get out. Perfect eight iron here. Perfect opportunity for a bird. too much. I caught, I caught that well. Caught that well. 
17 feet, but a ton downhill. Again, let's gently rest this up against that. My brain can't process a situation where that didn't go inside the human circle. With that much downhill of a putt. Four, here we go. Still made par. And uh, yeah, let's just take a quick check to make sure there's no hidden trees. A couple, but not to worry. <laughs> that shot off to the left. That's okay though. Ooh, should be fine, right? I don't think there's a tree in my way. Nope. 94, uphill six yards, wind at my back. I'm actually tempted to hit. It's 54 here. Yeah, I think that's a club. Let's do a full 54. That wind, if I can hit this just right, we'll be golden. We will be golden. That was hit well, too. Get up. Yeah. Oh, don't be another one of these greens. Come on, just stop. Don't be another one of these greens. With a giant hill that you're going to roll all the way to the back, too. Okay. Heck of a putt here. Uphill 24 feet. This is a heck of a putt. These greens are tricky. They kill me. All right, let's try to hit a good 29, 30 feet. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We'll see. Just sit in the game. Come on. You got right there, and you're going to walk all the way back down on me? Come on, game. These greens are BS, man. That was for that was a birdie, right? All right. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, okay. Plus three. There's that eight. All those balls down to that one time, that one green that I couldn't figure out. You take that away, this is like a fantastic round. Six birdies. Six birdies. Imagine if I shot six under. All right, well, that's round one. We're going to roll right into round two.